I think many of us who've grown up in Canada are familiar with the term powwow, but don't fully understand its significance. In Indigenous cultures, powwows are a way for community members to meet, sing, dance, and celebrate their culture. Today we have Deanne Hutfield, I'm so excited, a powwow dancer and instructor here to share the beauty of powwow dance with us, Deanne. Welcome! So start by telling us how you were introduced to powwow dancing. Uh, my very first powwow I went to, I was probably around seven or eight years old. And I just remember being really fascinated by the music and I wanted to learn to dance. And my mom, I was like, mom, show me how to dance. And my mom's like, I can't teach you that. I didn't learn that growing up. Mm -hmm. So my mom sent me out and she's like, go follow those jingle dress dancers and go do what they do. So I just did that in my socks or shoes and I just followed them around. <laughs> They must have loved that, little Deanne following them around. And then you, you know, you loved it. This was yeah. a way for you to participate in your culture and observe your culture, and now you're teaching other people. I want to talk a little bit about the different styles, because there are many different styles of powwow dance. You mentioned jingle. Yeah, jingle right? dress dancing. Jingle dress dancing. What else is there? There's fancy shawl, like I'm wearing now. Yes. And there is, um, like, woman's traditional, like yeah. the original dance, and they wear a shawl over their arm. And their dance is like very gentle. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so there's all the different kinds. And you've been teaching powwow dance for 20 years, which yeah. is a very long time. So why is it meaningful for you to be able to share your culture like this? Well, when I grew up, I learned the reason why my mom couldn't teach me to dance. And it was because she was a part of the 60s scoop. Mm -hmm. And most of my grandparents and great-grandparents went to Indian residential school. And that's why I don't speak my language. And I had a really hard life early on, inheriting the trauma of my, of my family. Yeah. And learning to powwow dance was such a way for me to be proud of who I am as an Ojibwe woman. Mm -hmm. And it's so healing when you dance, like moving your body and being in community. It's yes. just like, it's the greatest place. So for those who don't know, um, and, and we should by now, this is Canadian history, I encourage everyone to Google the 60 Scoop. I encourage everyone to Google Land Back that we're going to talk about, and also um, <clears throat> residential schools in Canada, because we have a bit of an atrocious history in this country, and uh, we've got a long way to go and a lot of work to do. So I want to talk um, about the appreciation of this dance. And, you know, I'm in this situation where, I, and I get pushback from viewers about this all this time, all the time. I don't like to appropriate culture because I'm very uh, into my culture and I love my culture and I love to be able to own that. Um, but Deanne is gonna talk to me a little bit about teaching me some powwow. Talk to me about why that's okay um, if, from your perspective. So powwows are open to all. You do not need to be indigenous to go to a powwow. We want non-indigenous to people come and build relationships, like meaningful relationships with our community. Yeah. And we have special songs called Intertribals where everyone's welcome to come dance. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you some steps on how to do that. Yes. Um, our only request from people is that they don't make regalia because our regalias are very unique to our in our nationhood mm -hmm. and uh yeah we're just not ready to to share that part yet with everyone no and i get that because you should own that and that is yours so can we talk a bit about your regalia this yeah, is sure. a beautiful beautiful outfit you're wearing um talk to me about the beating uh and land back so i went to public administration and governance at FNTI because I wanted to learn why my community had so much trauma mm -hmm. and at the base of it all it's all about us being displaced from our territories so that Canada can have most of it and we're still on little reserves and until we get land back like that this is true reconciliation okay now give us a turn because there is a story this isn't just gorgeous art happening on this shawl there's a beautiful skyline of Toronto Tell me, who asked you to make this shawl? Uh, the Toronto Raptors. <laughs> Have you heard of them? So they actually re requested and commissioned this from you. Why did they want you to make this? Uh, how did that whole thing come about? So they just, they wanted me to make them a TikTok. Because yes. they're trying to build relationship with Indigenous community. Yes. And my husband and I brainstormed, to like, let's make a, let's send them a video of you making a regalia, like, honoring 
their commitment to building relationship with indigenous communities. And yes. they said yes, so it's, it's available on their TikTok page. Beautiful, I love it, it's gorgeous. And now it's time for me to learn a few moves. Okay, so where are we gonna start? Okay, so the basic step is yeah. just one, two, one, two. Tap, body weight, tap, body weight. Okay. And to make it a little harder, we're gonna yeah. add a hop. Of course we are. So one, two, <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. okay. So I want to show you um, a beginner sequence that I love to teach to everyone. Okay. And it's crisscross twice, yeah. side tap twice on each side, yeah. with and four small kicks. Okay. So let's try crisscross. All right. Crisscross, crisscross, side tap, other side tap, small kick, small <laughs> kick. I'm getting there. Okay, let's do it one more time. Okay. Crisscross. Chris, cross, side, tap, other side, tap, small, kick, small, kick. Yeah. Okay, before we go for it again, <laughs> let's get some music. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shall music. we get some music? Let's get some music going. Uh, Deanne has made sure it is okay that we can hear this music. Hear it? Okay, let's try it again, crisscross. 